So today I will be explaining every SCP in as much detail as I possibly can. So we'll turn that off, we'll turn that off, uh, and we will load example, no, wrong one, every SCP. So I've created a custom map, go through all the SCPs and we'll be good. Let's begin. This is going to be a long one. This is going to take a while. Turn it off. Okay, let's begin. Now, save. And, before we begin, I will put no target on. I will put god mode on. And that should be fine for now. Simply for demonstration purposes. Obviously, I would play the game normally without cheating. Okay. So, first of all, we've got Peanut SCP 173. Here is our friend. <laughs> there is our friend here. And you can see the vision goes all blurry once you get close to him. That's how you can tell he's behind doors. Now, usually in this room, well, as you can see here, if you lose line of sight or blink, Peanut will move. So he's a concrete and rebar statue that can move at incredible speeds. In this room, he'll usually spawn right there. So obviously you want to stay away from him as best as possible. Um, this is the most dangerous SCP in my opinion, and you should Attention. always be. It's a spooky one, isn't he? Obviously, I'm in guard mode. Obviously, he would snap my neck and kill me. In this case, but um, yeah, most dangerous SCP. Always focus on Peanut. This is your number one priority. So we will turn no target back on, and mate, you good? Oh, there we go. 1048 dash. 1048 dash A. This is a bear made out of ears by 1048. Now, 1048 will stay only in light containment and will be in these two door hallways. I just I'm, I might have to disable Peanut because he is getting real annoying. Uh, I'll leave him for now. But um, so to avoid getting hurt by 1048-A, you have to run past it really quickly. But if you do, obviously, if you have no target, there we go. It will scream, and if you do not, if you do not leave the room quick enough. This will start to happen and you will die. So obviously by now I would already be dead. Oh, is that gonna stay the entire time? Okay, now it's gone. So if you do not get past it and out of the room quick enough, it will kill you. However, it isn't too difficult to avoid. So, all you gotta do is run real quick, get to the other side, and leave the room. It will still. <clears throat> it should still shake the screen. It will still shake the screen. However, if you do leave the room quick enough, you will be fine. Now, I'm actually going to spawn item key. Five. Yep. This is SCP-012. Also, this is a cognito hazard. If the player gets too close, if you if you get too close to O12 in that containment, the door will open. Turn off the it will open the door. 
and the player will begin to move towards it. If you do not close the door or leave the area quick, if you do not close the door or leave the area quick enough, uh, your the player will slowly walk towards it, and if you go into that room, you are guaranteed death. So it is a sheet of music, sheet of music that will draw the player towards it. Let's move on. Okay, so this one's 205. This is SCP-205, which is a pair of lamps that will display a woman's death in scenes, as you can see here. Now, whilst you're watching this, the door will, ran will open at some point. If you enter this room, you will die by the shadow things. The shadow characters in there, they will kill you if you enter this room. However, as long as you stay out here, you're all fine. You can watch the whole scene play out. It takes a while though. Uh, I'll leave no target off for now, unless I need it. So this is 372. Once you enter the room, it will activate 372. It is a not heard that sound before maybe I have it is a very very quick bug that will appear in the players peripheral throughout the game so it will happen randomly I'll wait for it to happen you'll see when it happens hello oh hello anyway let's move on so yeah, it's a green bug that will appear in your peripheral vision throughout the game, if you activate it. Oh, we got Peanut. Where is he? There he is. Okay, uh, let's go this side first. Ah, 914. We'll save that one for much later because we'll need a few items that it gives us. Other than that, something else gives us. Okay, into 427, 714, 816, 1025. We'll go to this one first. Now, 714 is a jade ring, as you can see here, that blocks anomalous effects. So I will demonstrate that in a second. So, uh, however, it will cause extreme exhaustion. You can see by my stamina bar, really low. It will cause extreme exhaustion. However, you will be blocked. All the effects of anomalies will be blocked. 427, 427 is not in here right now. There is a way to get it, which I will show later in 914. Let's continue. Now, 860 and 1025. I will demonstrate 1025 with the Jade Ring. So, 1025 is a book of diseases that if you read any of the diseases in the book, you will get that disease. Now, I actually have some notes on this. I should probably bring them up. Um, so, there's a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different diseases you can get in in this book, and if you get cardiac arrest, you will die. And some of the other ones cause damage to other things. 714 obviously blocks the anomalous effects. See? Cardiac arrest. Normally, I would die. However, I have 714 on. I will save and take 714 off, and I will show you what happens. Cardiac arrest. Just in a second, you can see my vision's going a little blurry. Move the ring. 
Oh. It's because I put on guard mode, isn't it? <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. Let's turn that off. That's now on. And I will show you what happens when you read the book. Chicken box, eh, whatever. Chicken box, whatever. Oh, stop, oh, you're gonna give me, ch oh, you're gonna give, give me chicken box. Come on, give me something different. I don't have the ring on, do I? Chicken box, I'm going to load the game. Not being very cooperative, are you? Well, come on, give me something new. Cancer of the lungs, that sounds pretty dangerous. Okay, okay. Will I have any reaction to that? Oh, funny. How about chicken pox again? Uh, that's kind of boring. Anything else? Chicken pox again. Ooh, cardiac arrest. That's an interesting one. <coughs> Let's read about... Oh, okay. No, mm, I'm dead. Wow. That's what happens if you don't put the ring on. Give me that ring. I will be using that later. And get out of here. I don't care about you. I'm going to drop these as well. So, God, no target. There we go. Let's continue. 860. This is a blue key that opens 860-1 in entrance zone so we will save that for later let's move on did I go backwards? I've forgotten my own facility oh no oh no, oh no 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 no, this is bad I've forgotten my own facility so I think that's 914 that way I think I need to go this way. Oh, of course, because Peanut opened this door. Oh, yes, one of my favorites. 1499. You can see the door change. That's just how the layout works. It's because I moved to the entrance, uh, heavy containment zone area. Anyway, SCP-500, forget about this. It's not in here. Don't bother opening it. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll even show you. It ain't in here. Nothing. Is this the 1499? No, that's 500. Never mind. Okay, um, 1499. This is a Russian gas mask, one of the most useful SCPs we have here, that will make you undetectable by anything in this facility, however, will transport you to this place. Now, these guys are harmful. Stay away from them you will hear music playing or like creepy music playing once they start to attack you. Like that guy right there, he ain't happy. So this is just a barren area with towers. You can, I can't remember, in older versions I know you can store items here, but I'm not sure about, I think it teleports you to a different place now, so you can't, but whatever. So that will, that can actually prevent 106 from spawning. If he spawns, you can get rid of 106. It can move MTF guards. It's really handy. So, definitely keep that. I don't need any more, do I? 1162. Okay. This is a hole in the wall that can give you any lost item in return for an item. So, what you should do is drop all your items except things you don't care about, then you can click it and it will give you items. Like that. See, I dropped this earlier and it gave it back to me. What else? Is this 1048? No, 895. Did I grab that? So it can give you a lot of different things, mostly paper. I'm not 100% sure what else it can give you that. I know that. I've gotten this before. See, this is obviously previously the the character D9341 must have dropped this somewhere and our friend here has returned it. So yeah, it just gives you random stuff for an item. 
Um, actually, what I didn't mention is something very important. Uh, spoilers. You know what? There's going to be a lot of spoilers. Why do I even say that? Uh, I will turn that off and I will turn no target off. Because if you do not have an item in your inventory, it will kill you. So this is obviously, it stole my heart in return for this movie ticket right here. So, I mean, I get the movie ticket, it's fair, it's an item for an item, it's just, uh, I won't be getting to use this movie ticket for very long. So this will kill you, don't even bother trying to hit, you're dead. Well, actually, I don't, you know what, spawn item, SCP-500 will I've never tried this now nah, you're still dead okay never mind this uh, yeah if you if you do that you're dead just don't even bother trying you're dead <laughs> did I save I didn't save I'm actually like kind of useless okay we have returned Let's see so yeah that's the hole in the wall gives you stuff for stuff it's pretty fair now, oh, okay. So this is a surveillance room. Once you open this door, it will activate 049, which I will show to you. I'm going to turn. What was that noise? Um, 049 will kill you if you get too close. However, 049 is useless and. This is not what I expected. I need batteries. Did I? Did it? Have I? I might be going crazy. I don't know. I'll say that one for later. So, 049 will spawn. 049 will spawn once you open this surveillance room, which you need to do to exit light containment. Be careful, peanut can be in here. So, if you're, I mean, if, I, if you're speedrunning it like me, you're like, you're not going to be checking for peanut, but. Oh. So, I'm going to turn it back off so I can get out. This is 049. Oh, and I'm stuck. You don't. Yeah. Obviously, if you had no. If you were playing the game normally, he would trigger as soon as he sees you. Um. Can I just dis say disable 173? Nope. I can't remember the command. Whatever. So I will. I don't think Peanut's over here, so I'll just turn it on turn it off sorry so once he sees you he will start hunting you down and he he will follow you throughout the facility just gotta make go it is on yes it is okay he will chase you around the facility um he's very slow and has no range whatsoever so it is very easy to actually loop around him if you pull him to one side, you can actually go around him quite easily. Obviously, I had gold mode on, but his range is about about here. This is when he will kill you. 714 will prevent you from being harmed by 049. However, it will only last for so long because 049 will take the ring off and then kill you. So he will spawn once you've triggered surveillance room. Um, I am going to turn no target back on. Okay, let's continue. Also, he does also spawn. He's guaranteed to spawn in the 049 room in heavy containment zone, which we will get to eventually. Ooh, 970, okay. So this is these this hallway here is SCP nine seventy. 
Um, this is a never-ending hallway, which changes the universe depending on how far you go through. It will constantly change different years. You can actually get a 173-J, I believe. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I'm pretty sure it is. But going through here will change a bunch of things. A lot of strange things will happen. Um, they will not harm you, but they are pretty spooky. So you can experiment with that. It takes a really long time, which is why I'm not going to go through them. Uh, before we go down there... Very nice. Why am I slow? Just why? Why am I slow? That's very annoying. Give me that. Sorry, if I know. I'm gone. I feel like I've lit missed a ton of information that I've needed to say. So I will just put that in through the video whenever. I'll just put it in editing or whatever. But for now, we've got our friends 939. So 939, or the, the 939s, are red predatory hunters that uh, go in packs. They will only be in this storage area that I'm in right now. Why did I grab that hand? I'm not even going to use it. Uh, grab, the, grab that hand if you want to get through certain doors. But um, I won't need that. You can also get night vision goggles in here, which I recommend. Where are 939? There he is. So this big guy over here is 939. And they can only detect you by sound. They cannot see you. But as you can see, they will make sounds as if they are humans. But they're just trying to trick you into thinking that you're safe, which you are not. You are certainly not. Now, if you move around, the, these if you get close enough or you make too much noise, they will chase you, and they will make an awfully loud sound that spooks me every time. But if you move, there we go. Um, a good way to get around 939 is going around corners, as you saw then. I went around this box. They are awful at going around corners. They, they cannot go around corners. Come on, mate. Come get me. Yeah, you can't get me, mate. Anyway. So, yeah. These little guys. Also, these guys, there's three of them. They will go in a constant loop in the same area. So, this guy will go around through this area and around in a loop like that. The next one over here will go around these boxes like this. You can probably figure it out. Um... Let's turn on section three, so we open that door. There you go. So this one will go around this area here. How's it going, mate? And then the last one will go around this little box area here. So you will not go past here. He will only go around in this loop, up through there, around, down, and back around. So that is 939. Is that everything? Honestly, I don't even know. I probably should have done this in windowed mode. You know what? I will save here. And I will reload in windowed mode so that I can read off some notes. Okay, we are back. God mode, no target. In 1280 by 720, is that still recording? It is now smaller. I will enlarge that. It will look like garbage because it is not in screen however that is the best I can do you're just gonna have to deal with it okay well, let's continue so far I've said everything that I want to say so that should be fine who is next one one two three okay we will head over to that how did 049 get it's so weird. Obviously, the SCPs teleport around. Be that's like that's how you. That's how they're supposed to get around. But it's just it's so weird. Now I believe. Okay, so that is the exit. So before we leave, I am going to check one one two three, which is a skull that makes hallucinations. 
I don't need the gas mask. Um, actually, I'll need it later, so I will actually grab it. So, I will open this door. Um, so, with 714 on, it will do nothing. You can't pick it up. However, I will show you what happens when you do pick it up. So you are transported to this place, which is based off of the Holocaust. So this is uh Yeah. This is based off the Holocaust this is hallucinations of the Holocaust. Now, you will walk a little bit funky, and you may seem to need healing. Do not heal. Please do not heal when you are in this, because you will be completely and fully healed after it is done. So it will just be a waste. Right now, this is where you would think to heal. Do not heal, because you'll see in a second why. Hello, mate. Go on, load it up quicker then. Or else will escape. I'll get out. Don't shoot me. You won't, you won't, you'll regret it, you'll regret it. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Uh oh. I think you, ow. Despite the fact that you think you got shot, you will be completely healed after it is done. So do not heal whilst you're in there. You always gotta do it. I've, I've just always gotta do it. I've always gotta do it. I've always gotta do it. Okay, so now we obviously we skipped 914. We will do that later. However, we are going on to heavy containment. Let's go. Okay, who have we got? Oh, Peanut saying hello. Peanut. Okay, uh, you know what, Let, let's go 035 first, we'll do, we'll do 035 first. 035. Now, this is an optional thing, you do not have to do this, but, um, there's a few items that you can get if you do, if you let this guy out. So 035 is, is the mask that this guy is wearing, the scientist that's wearing. That mask there, uh, oozes a corrosive black liquid. And it attaches to people's faces and takes over their brain. So obviously, you can open the doors and let them out. And there's something in there that we're going to get. You see that plate there? We're going to be, we're going to be getting that. Okay. Now, here is obviously before in Light Containment we thought we found 500, SCP-500. This is actually where it is. You can open this door with the code 5731. Yes, 5731. And this is SCP-500. As you saw me use it before, SCP-500 will completely heal all injuries. Um, and it's, it's a red pill that completely heals all injuries. Okay. Now, I will leave there and I will go into here. I will turn no target off because I will show you what happens when you go into here. So, when you go into here, these things will start appearing off the ground and you want to leave here quick enough before they start hitting you because it will kill you. Damn, that's a weird sound. Okay. So, that thing will kill you if you do not leave quick enough. So this is a metal panel. This is actually SCP-148, Telekill Steel. It is steel that blocks cognito hazards like O12, and it can be combined with um, the hazmat suit, gas mask, and ballistic vest to make heavy versions of them in 914. So I will, I already turned it on. So I will continue. Now, so now we are going to go on to 008, 
this is required to be found if you want to leave having Damon Zone. Now, I should have put no target on before coming in here, but uh, Peanut will spawn in that room over there. If you blink, it will break through the glass, and if you are not wearing the hazmat suit, you will be infected with 008, and eventually die if you are not healed or cured. So to recontain it is to open it, don't blink, pull it down, leave, close the door. Done. If you, uh, it takes a while to put a hazmat suit on, so you don't have to do it. But, um, yeah. So Peanut will teleport to this room, and he will smash through the glass and try to kill you. If you do not leave quick enough and blink. Um, I don't think I can demonstrate it now. I might demonstrate it in em editing. Okay, well, you heard Peanut then. Meaning he's probably, yep, there he is. Okay, let's blink before we go in here because you don't want him smashing through the window because then you'll get infected. Close it. And we good. But we'll, we'll, we'll see if I remember. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'll demonstrate the 008 virus later as well. Okay, so now... Uh, th this isn't going to be a demonstration of 049, this is going to be 049-2, which are creations of 049, so reanimated bodies, God, I hate this thing, so they're reanimated bodies of 049, so these things right here, they're dead right now, but once you turn the power back on, when you switch the power generator and turn it back on, um, they will come to life. They're really slow, they're incredibly weak, horrendously weak, that is actually really sad how weak they are. Um, so don't even, even, don't even start to be afraid of them. So, they're weak, slow, they're, they're pointless, pretty much. I don't know why they exist, they just do. Look at that. He's not even swinging that, oh wait, that's because I have no target on. I'm not used to playing with no target. I'm used to playing normally. I have to turn this off so that I can actually get through. So 049 spawns there, and then we'll be leaving. The worst thing about this is 173 can be in here, and it is the most terrifying experience ever. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen 372 yet. I think I might have not triggered it. So that's another thing I'll have to do later, which is very sad. But we will be leaving now. Oh, it's off. I want it on, please. Who is next? Is it 096? Who's next? We have... It is 096, okay. We'll scroll up. 096. So, this room here is where... It is activates 049. 096. 096 is a white hum, humanoid creature that will get enraged and kill you if you look at its face. As demonstrated right here. So he will begin crying and babbling, if you look at his face, and then proceed to erase you from existence. This will only happen if you look at its face. It cannot happen if you look at its back of its head. So you will start in here, and he will roam around uh, entrance zone and heavy containment zone. Not, I don't. I've never seen him in light. I don't think he can be in light. Ooh. And yeah, I have no target on, obviously. So this won't do anything um i will show you what happens if you don't have no target on where is he turn around mate 
so we will be waiting for this. Do not save. If you get if you trigger 096, please do not save. Because you will die over and over again. This guy won't kill me because I have God Mode on. Actually, you know what? Who needs God Mode? You know what, mate? Just kill me. Yeah. Nothing can save you from him. If you look at him, you're dead. Do not save once you look at him. Number one tip. It's nowhere near as dangerous as Peanut, but like, just don't look at him. Yeah. Open the door, please. Thank you. Ooh, 513. Okay, this will be interesting. Well, actually, we'll, we'll go 106 first. So, this is... I will actually demonstrate 106. So, 106 is, as you can he see here, a creature that is covered in... Where's my notes? Covered in a corrosive liquid. Um, in the game, it only appears as the old man, but obviously in SCP lore, it can be any... It can... It has been seen in different forms. So, uh, 106 will randomly appear to the player. It will randomly spawn out of the ground um, throughout the game. It will happen all throughout the game unless you recontain them. Um, this uh, 106 can pass through any solid wall. So, it can go through these walls. It can go through doors and it will appear from the ground. It can appear from the top. Um, pretty scary and pretty dangerous. Still not as dangerous as 173. You hear me? Still not as dangerous as 173. A good way to get rid of... Um, also, oh, actually, before I continue, if you get caught by 106, it will send you to the pocket dimension. Um, I will have a separate video. I'll make a separate video on how to escape the pocket dimension another time But for now just know that if you go to the pocket dimension, it's not very easy to escape and He can kill you in there if you take too long So I will spawn I like to turn no target off first and I will spawn What's the command spawn? SCP-106. There we go. So. I don't know. Where is he? There he is. So you see he spawns out of the ground. And he will begin... Mate, over here. And he will begin to follow you. However, if he passes through a Tesla gate... Why does this glitch keep happening to me? Every time... I literally have a video showing it happening to me. Oh, he's not okay. Um, what's supposed to happen is if 106 goes through a Tesla gate, it will die. Tesla gate, Tesla gate, Tesla gate, where? Where are the Tesla gates? There's one this side. Maybe not. Why isn't it activating? Um. Wait, what? Wait. There we go. Why do I have to be so close to the Tesla gate? So yeah, it's not working now, but which is really annoying. But if you go, if it goes through a Tesla gate, it will die and it will disappear and it will have to spawn again another time. Um, it doesn't even, it still, oh no, okay, nice. No, it still targets you through no target, which is incredibly annoying. So, um, he does disappear after a while, so if there is no Tesla gates around you, it, he does disappear after a little bit. Uh, I want to 
honestly, I'll just wait for him to disappear before I continue. Look at this guy. Come on, mate. Disappear, will you? There we go. Okay, now we're going to enter his containment chamber. I will show you again how to re-contain one of his... Why does Peanut- why does Peanut have to be everywhere? I hate Peanut. Why- why- he has to- he's just everywhere, and it's so annoying. Blink, 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 blink. Um, so I'll show you how to also, this is where you get a uh, level five key card. Very nice. Um, so I'm, it's, it's so important. I'm going to show you how to recontain 106. If you fail to do this properly or you release him after containing him, you will no longer be able to contain him again. So save before doing it just in case you mess up. You never know. So what you have to do is turn off the that because how do you say i'm not even gonna bother saying it. i'm gonna say it wrong and it's gonna look really dumb then you turn on sound transmissions i've explained why this whole thing works in another video then you femur breaker damn this is loud Now we have to wait for a little bit. And once you start hearing him enter the containment chamber, that's when you turn it on. That's when you turn it back on and that should lock 106 in the containment cell. If it hasn't, then he will start chasing you once the whole thing is done. So you better run. Well, you better turn that off first, but you better run if he starts chasing you. So. To determine whether or not you got him, apart from the fact that he'll be ch They're all out to get me, aren't they? Apart from the fact that he'll be chasing you, is if you hear the mu you hear the chase music now, I'll that chase music. If you leave the cell, it will stop. That is how you know that you've recontained him, so I have obviously recontained him successfully. I don't want Peanut to kill me, so I'm going to put both of these on. That was the weirdest way I've seen Peanut move before. That what happened? I will leave him. Um, as always, I leave him out and roaming. So I will continue to do that. So let's leave, shall we? And move on to 966, I believe. Oh no, 682. Oh, 513, what am I on about? Oh, 996 wants to say hey. Okay, um, so 513 is a rusty bell. If you ring it, the player will start seeing black figures in their peripheral. Attempting to go to these black figures will make them disappear. Um, it is not harmful, it is just a little bit startling. So we will see that a little bit later, hopefully. Is he behind here? No. Okay, continuing on, we have... I believe this is 682's containment area, I think. From what it said, it didn't sound like this is his containment area, but it, it feels like it is. So once you enter this spot... Um... That will start doing stuff. This will happen. Um, no target. And this is the reason I think it is SCP-682's containment chamber is because of the uh, document outside it. I'm honestly not sure. 
But um, anyway, 682 is a large reptilian creature that is extremely aggressive and is adaptive to all things that hurt it and incredibly regenerative. So it's nicknamed the hard to destroy reptile because it cannot die despite many, many attempts. Okay. 966. 966 are humanoid creatures that can only be seen through night vision goggles. These guys here. Um, they are dangerous if you stay around them for too long. If you walk past them, it's all good. But they are dangerous. You'll actually hear audio clue cues. You'll hear this audio around here, this weird like breathing audio. That's how you know they're around you. Um... They will harm you if you stay around them for too long. They also cause your stamina to drain incredibly quickly, as you saw just then. Um, your, stamina, your stamina goes down incredibly quickly. So you will find these throughout the game in Heavy and Entrance Zone. Who is next? 895. Okay, let's go see her. Oh, I think it's over here. 895? 895, okay. So, 895 is commonly thought to be something in a camera. It is not. 895 is the coffin that is down here. 895 is a coffin that causes audio and visual disruptions. It causes... Oh, now they're coming to say hi. Oh, god damn it. No targets on. See, that's another one that bypasses it. It's so annoying. Could you just, like, you know, maybe go away? Hey! What are you, mate? Are you good? Hey, yo, bro, are you good? Mate, you, you've, you've just harmed me. You've just hurt me. I don't appreciate that. How dare you? How dare you? I am disgusted by your behavior. Get out of here. So, 895 is a coffin that causes audio and visual disruptions. And that's where the infamous... Oh, go away, mate. Oh, now Peanut's saying hi. So that's the... Um, I'm going to... I'm, I'm sure that'll work. I'm going to turn no target off. They should start working. So the player will be drawn to the camera. I guess I have to be in the room. And we'll start seeing. I don't care if that thing's hitting me. There we go. It will start seeing faces and all this stuff. And that is where that infamous that is where you get that infamous face from. That face right there. This can be blocked by... I can't even open my inventory. What is this? So it can be blocked by 714. See? Nothing happening. It's not going to start hurting me either. This guy! And you can, obviously you can turn it off right here. That will save you from danger. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look. Honestly. These SCPs, man. They are up. They are an absolute pain. <laughs> Get out of here, mate. What are you doing? No target. God. No clip. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? Okay, 513. Oh, no, we want to see 513, don't we? Let's give that a little ding. Oh, look at that. There's 1048, just the uh, the builder bear. You'll see him around the facility sometimes. We got these. These. What do you even call them? I don't even know what they are. Anyway, 894 does the audio visual things. Turn it off. 914, uh, 714 saves you from him, the Jade Ring. 
894 is this thing here. This is 894. Oh. What the heck? Oh my gosh, bro, you good? I assume he was looking at the things. I assume, oh, it's off, how does it? There we go, there's the, that's 513-1. This is what you will see if you ring 513 and it will constantly happen throughout the game. Um, there is a way to stop it. I will show you later in 914. There's a lot of uses for 914. Um, moving on, we have my, my favorite SCP of all time, the duckies. This is one of the three ducks. Do I need to have no, I think I need to have, um, no target off. No target. My absolute favorite SCP, these are the anomalous ducks. This one, this one's a personal favorite out of the three because, uh, well, it's supposed to play the saxophone. It doesn't seem to want to do it today. Come on. Just a little bit of a saxophone. There we go. I still don't understand why 049 can spawn here. It's so weird. There we go. We've got the anomalous ducks. My favorite SCPs. Not dangerous. They don't do anything. They just have different Easter eggs, depending on which one you find. So we are going to put. Actually, oh no, we need no target, don't we? So we have done the anomalous ducks. Um. Okay, now we're on to entrance zone. Nice. Build a bear? Nope. Let's enter entrance zone. So, starting off, we have 513-1 and mobile task force. I have a genuine hatred for the um, NTF. Anyway, as shown in my last video. Oh, I heard, heard 066. Anyway, first of all, 294. This is the anomalous vending machine that can give you an almost any drink that you like for two quarters. Two quarters. Um, yeah, it will give you any drink that you want, out of, obviously out of the list that's been programmed. Um, there are some helpful ones, there are some just normal ones, and there are some dangerous ones. Today, what do I want today? I've thought about this beforehand. I'm feeling a bit of antimatter today. So um, there's a lot of different combination, uh, combination, there's a lot of different things you can get, so definitely experiment. Oh gosh, that doesn't sound good. Did I save? <laughs> probably should have. <laughs> probably should have saved, huh? I don't save a lot, do I? But uh, yeah, that is one of the options <laughs> if you wish to just die. You know what? I'm gonna grab 13, 513 and ring it again and keep it for later to show what you can do with it. Um, anyway, let's get back into entrance zone, shall we? Okay, so yeah, nine, 294 gives you a bunch of drinks. Some of them are useful. I will have a video showing you a bunch of different options that it will give you. A bunch of funny ones. Uh, good one, useful ones, and not so useful ones. Ah, there he is. Oh, stay. No!
That is SCP-066. I no longer, I can no longer hear anything, and that is one of its abilities. It can make you completely and utterly deaf. Despite the fact that I have no target on, where is it? Right there. No target is on. Still got me. And I no longer can hear anything. This will recover after a while, but it is very annoying. Um, there we go. See, it's back. So, 066 is a lump of red mass and eyeballs. And it says Eric a lot. And, as you heard, plays ridiculously loud music. That makes you deaf. Um, yeah, stay away from him, because he is evil. I mean, he's, he's, one of my, he's one of my favorites, but he's still evil. Oh, there's 513. Um, this is 860-1, which uh, is opened by 860. Um, this is the only way to pass through. This door has a key code. It cannot be opened. There is no key code that opens this. You must go through with the door. Whatever, mate. So you open here with the card and... Am I all right? There's a lot of things in this game, and it's, there's a lot of things in this game that are really weird. So you use 860, the blue key, to enter the blue forest. In here you'll find 860-2, which is a very big and scary cat. There is a lot of um, stories or like interesting things about this forest that you can find. Um, it takes a while to find all these, but um, it will be mostly like a maze. Obviously, I've made this one a straight path. And there you go. That is 860-2, and it will, after a while, chase you and kill you. Right there. This guy, he will. Ch after a while, he will chase you and kill you. But it can, honestly, he stays behind you and he's silent. So you turn around and you see him and he's just chasing us. It's so scary. It is one of the most frightening experiences. That's why I never go in here, because I just hate it. Anyway, let's get the blue key and head back over. There we go. So, that is 860, 860-1, 860-2. Now, moving... Oh, let's... Oh. 513-1, how's it going? This is... SCP-420-J. This is a joke SCP added into the game. It is a high-intensity drug that can heal injuries. Putting it through 914 on fine and very fine will make it dangerous. I will not be using it because I do not want the AFP kicking down my door. AFP? I think it's the AFP. I do not want the... AFP kicking down my door. So I will be leaving this. You try. You you give it a try. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Oh yes, let's go. The butt ghost. This is SCP-789-J. Also known as the butt ghost. Where's the line? He says something very funny. I hate MTF. I hate them so much. I'm so glad they can't see me. But go what? 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 Well, um, we have a friend here. Oh, can I actually show? Oh, should I? Do I bother? Do I bother going all the way back to the Tesla gate? Oh, I didn't recon. I, why didn't why didn't I recontain you? Why do I always refuse to recontain you? Is there I'm sure there's a way for me to disable these lot, but I can't remember how.
so I will skip ahead once this guy is gone. I'm right here, mate. You don't have to. You don't have to say I'm right here. Oh, is 106 gone? Nice. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. Um, remember how I said it cannot move in when it's in someone's line of sight? This includes MTF, so they can they can hold them there for you. Um, but first, where is the butt ghost? Say it. Say the line. Say it. Well, he he has a line. You 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 find it. I'm not gonna find it. Oh look at that! They captured him. <coughs> oh. Shut up. Just just shut up. I don't. I didn't. Did I did, did I ask? I don't remember asking, mate. I don't care if you say it every time. I I don't remember asking. Um. So if you let. Uh, o35 out it will spawn this scientist here that will ow you well that just shows you why you should just go past that um let's go to the electrical room this is a place where you can actually find 966 they will often spawn here there's no target yeah it's on nice um, I'm gonna use no clip because I hate being really slow. Okay, let's turn this off and that back on. So we don't have any 966 in here right now, but they can spawn in here. Oh, I'm getting fuzzy vision, that's so annoying. So this is 079 and you must turn off remote door control and go to 079 to escape the facility. This is a required thing. As you can see, they're chilling about. Um, 079 is a computer that can think for itself, and if you go to it, it will display this, it will give you a message. Um, if you have not turned off remote door control, he will just show an X on his screen. I hate 966. You know what? I don't think you realize how much I hate 966. It's definitely got to be my most disliked SCP. So he will, he will display. He won't display. He will say that message, and you'll have to. And you'll have to turn this back off. Uh, turn it back on. Goodness me. I cannot see a thing. <sighs> Honestly, I despise 966. Oh, hello. Anyway, now that we've done that, Oh. Oh yeah, this is another one that they capture, isn't it? Anyway, so we have gone through every single thing so far except 914. So I'm going to load the game once again. Turn on gold, no target and no clip, and we will head to the refinery. 914. So 914 is a clockwork machine that can destroy or refine items. Um, in this game, there's so many different things that it can do. There's so many thing, or so many different things that can um, happen and appear out of 914. But I will, since there's so many, I will only show you some useful ones and some interesting ones that I've that I've decided. 
that are interesting. I didn't grab 513. Grab that. Ding dong. Let's open it up. So. I will show you some useful ones while I wait for um, 513-1 to spawn. So, we have the spawn item S now. So, do I have everything? I believe I have almost anything. Spawn item nav. There we go. I'll leave telekill steel on the bottom here. So, um, putting the gas mask on fine or very fine will turn it into a super gas mask. It is very handy if you want to um, have infinite sprint, which is what it does. Uh, night vision goggles, if you put it on fine, it will not need batteries anymore. It will be infinite battery life and it will make it red. If you put it on very fine, it will show you the location of entities as well as being blue. Um, SNAV 300 navigator, if you put this on very fine, uh, it, on fine it will show the entire facility as a map, on very fine it will show you the locations of anomalies. Um, and the first aid kit, if you put it on fine it will make it a small first aid kit. Very fine I believe makes it a blue first aid kit which is dangerous, so do not, do not put it on very fine. So obviously you can switch between the different options here and turn the key to start it. Rough destroys it, coarse turns it into a breaks it down, one to one turns it into something that's almost as similar in like matter, I guess you could say. Fine will make it uh, better and very fine will make it usually anomalous. For example the SNAV will show you the locations of anomalies, um, that's anomalous. So yeah, we've got the gas mask giving me infinite sprint. I will be able to sprint forever. Um, you've got the small first aid kit, which is just a better first aid kit. This guy, you have the audacity to disturb me. Looks like we're going to have a bit of a wait once again. So I will cut back once I'm ready. Okay, we are back. Um, as well as all of that, you can upgrade level uh, key cards. So level one to level two, two to three on fine. Um, on fine again, you have a 10% chance of getting a level four. And then level four on fine gives you a level five. Um, any card on very fine gives you a really really low chance of giving of getting an omni card which can open every door as well as the level five um what was that the omni card and level five are the same there's no there's no door that requires the omni card but um so yeah but the omni card is used for an achievement so the more achievements that you have the more likely chance you will get a omni card from very fine Anyway, I will now show you some... Oh, I didn't... Let me let me put the SNAV 300 navigator in very fine and I'll show you how that works. As I spawn another um, 500. I can't spell... There we go. So this will put it on very fine. So now, it will show the locations of nearby SCPs, which can be very handy, and it also shows you the entire facility map. Obviously, mine looks a little bit weird because uh, it's custom designed. So, uh, let's drop all these because I won't need them. Telekill Steel. To use this, you must put it in 914 on rough or coarse to turn it into ingots. So I'll put it on to course. These ingots can be used to make... 
A single ingot. Wow, okay. So this can be used to make the gas mask or... mask there we go uh, this can turn the gas mask ballistic vest and hazmat suits into heavy versions which will block effects of cognito hazards like 012 at the start the um the the sheet of music that makes you go insane Heavy gas mask. So this will not give you infinite sprint, but it will block the effects of cognito hazards like O12. Obviously, it's not like it's not incredible because you have got things like 714, but it's all right if you don't have 714, I guess. But I, I wouldn't bother going through all that effort just to make it a heavy gas mask, to be honest. Anyway, um. What should we do next? So 513, has the 513 monster started showing up yet or did I not ring it? No, I didn't ring it. I did ring it. So once we see the 513 thing, 513-1, I will show you what you can do with that. Uh, for now, I'm going to put SCP-500 onto here in fine. At the start, I was saying that we couldn't Mate, I don't, I don't know what's up with you. I don't, I hate you. I, I, I might just literally, I might literally go and recontain you right now because you're actually being a pain. You know what? You know what? I've done this before. I'm going to search up the command that disables, disable 106 command. Disable 106. Okay. Mate, your time, you, it's over for you. You're gone. Get out of here. I didn't spell it wrong. I spelt it wrong. And he's gone. He's gone. He's out of here. Anyway, so I said that we couldn't get 427 from the box. However, you can get it from SCP-914 if you put 500 into 914 on fine or very fine. Now, 427 will slowly heal all wounds yeah, it's a locket that slowly heals all wounds when you put it on um however after a while in this game seven minutes you will start to become a deformed mass of flesh and it will kill you so this will happen after seven minutes taking off the locket will not re reset the time and it will it will still take seven minutes total so, for example, if I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to put it on. So you open the locket, this will slowly heal you. If you are bleeding, this, what is right, what is here? Um, this will heal you. So if you're bleeding, it will heal you. If you have nausea, it will heal you. However, after seven minutes, which I will wait for the entire time, uh, you'll become a you'll become 427-1, which will kill you. Uh, yeah, also, taking it off will not reset this timer. It will always be seven minutes. It will always be... It will it'll keep ticking down, and it won't, it won't, so, for example, put it on for three minutes, you still... Taking off won't reset it back to seven, you'll still have only four minutes. So I will wait this seven minutes, and you will see... Ooh. Damn, that is a weird noise. Goodness me. I have no feet. What has happened? This thing stole my feet. I can still run, though. I'm joking. You don't have feet. This, this D9341 D9 is just floating in the air permanently. How long have I been waiting? Oh gosh, muscles are swelling. You feel powerful than ever. What in the world is that? 
What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is what is this? Oh, that is disgusting. What is that? I don't know what that is. Do I wanna do I wanna know what that is? Oh, I've it stopped. Okay, no, it's going again. Am I alright? Oh no, you can't feel the you don't ha you don't need legs anymore, okay. Damn. <laughs> no legs. I didn't mean to predict that. That was just coincidental. Why am I still... I don't know what this is. It... Oh no, what is going on? Do I take it off? Should I take it off? I don't care. I'm, I'm going all the way now. I, I've already done it. I'm going all the way now. How often do I make this mistake? Oh my. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's it was it was seven minutes for ages, but um that's fine. But anyway, so yeah, that is four twenty seven, the locket. Now what I'm going to do is show you what happens with um five thirteen dash one. So I'm going to wait for it to spawn. There we go. I'm going to wait for it to spawn. And once it does, I will show you what you can do with 513. Or supposedly, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is real. What are you doing, mate? Hmm? Oh, you're going back. You know what? The Adventures of 049. Let's see it. The Adventures of 049. Who are you talking to? Because it doesn't really seem like you're talking to me. Which way are you going? Oh, we're going backwards, okay. Oh, there we go, 513-1. So, now that we have seen 513-1, um, let's just, let's just, uh, spot him one more time. I think I might wait for the audio cues before I actually do it, because then it's a little more obvious. So, there we go, 513 there we go, 513-1. Nice. So now what are we gonna what we're gonna do is drop 513 down in here. This is how to get rid of 513-1, by the way. So put it on rough or coarse. If you're trying if you if you're trying to get rid of it, you may as well put it on rough. And then let's break it. So this will break 513, therefore destroying 513-1. Goodness me. <laughs> well, that's it. It's pretty obvious that it's broken and we will no longer be seeing 513. You know what? You know what, Peanut? You know what? This is how I feel about you opening that door, mate. Get out of here. I honestly, I don't know if that worked. I probably didn't. I'm assuming that I did. But anyway, so, I mean, I can sit here all I want and look for him, but we will not be seeing 513-1 anymore. Um... So, those are a bunch of different things that you can do with 914. There's tons and tons of different options, tons of things that you can do. So, just experiment, see, see what happens. There's literally, um, uh, there's stats at the end of the game, once you've beaten it, of how many things you put into the refinery. Um, so, yeah, just see what you can find. There's tons of things, as you can see there. So now that we have done every, I believe, every SCP, I've gone and explained it as best as I can. Um, well, every SCP in the facility, I should say, because we're still not done yet. Um, but before I continue, I hope that all this has helped and this has explained some things. Oh, there's the bear. Hello, bear. Oh, uh, you just duplicated. Okay, I'll leave you alone. So I hope all of this has helped and has given you a little bit more 
information about all the SCPs, especially my favorite one right here. Um, let's go head over to the exit and get out of here. Reset it. Okay, and speed. There we go. Speed run tactics right there. Um, let's go in here. Let's activate you. Let's then go make you happy again. Gate B is literally, I will, I will show you, you know what, I will show you where Gate B is. Please tell me I went the right way. I did. There we go. Here's Gate B. So, um, I was, I did this hoping that MTF would. This game is so weird. <laughs> This game. Oh, it's the trick. Ah, oh, yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. So, these hallways have a trick. Um, that is the event that activates. It swaps, it switches you around. So, you'll see. I'll open this door. And I'm back facing the open door again. So, that just swaps your player 180 degrees. I'll go through that in another video that I'll make. I don't want to go gate B because I hate gate B. I'm a stubborn baby. Everyone should know this by now. I hate gate B. I think I went the wrong way, which is really sad. I don't think... I don't know you could do that. Let's escape. Oh my gosh, that is bright. I should turn that down. Um, did I break? I, I think I broke it. Uh, should I leave and... Well, not leave, but... uh, I should probably... Oh, it may cause bugs and crashing. Well... Looks like we're as Oh my, hello. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. I'm gonna get the other I'm getting the other ending. I'm getting the other ending. Let let me out, let me out, let me out. Ugh. 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 Oh, that is loud. Oh no 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 no, that is loud. Oh, Anyway, I'm going to wait after this guy is done, because that is so annoying. Ah, oh, I'm done, I'm done, let's get it. So, I don't know if you saw, but um, you if you skip back, you'll see. I got an achievement that said, recontained SCP-055. So, this is another anomaly that you don't see in-game. 055 is a cognito hazard that... Any information about it or involving it leaks out of brains, uh, out of out of people's minds. So it's a self-keeping secret, is what it's um, usually called, anti-meme. So this that achievement suggests that the player encountered 055 and recontained it whilst it was in the facility, but we but they forgot the encounter. So that's very interesting. Um, uh, and we'll load into this one more time. This screen here is referencing SCP-990, the Dream Man, because it's giving you tips during the, the black screen, it's giving you tips. The Dream Man is giving you tips before the game starts. So that's the, that's what this is referencing here. Um, you can get 990 in the actual screen um, you'll, it's very peculiar, I should say. Um, it is very weird, very interesting. I'm not sure, I think, 
or which seed does it? Four, four, six, four, five, six, oh, five, four. I think is one of them. No, it's not. Okay, but um, you'll nine ninety will be one of the tips, and this whole this whole tip screen is referencing SCP nine ninety. So, before I finish off, that's that's all the SCPs that are in this game. That's every single one explained to my best of abilities. I hope it's helped and all that kind of stuff. Um, but before I end it off, I'm going to tell you some honor, honor, honorable mentions, some referenced SCPs in the game. O93, SCP-132 ARC, SCP-423, and SCP-847. So you can go search those up, you can read all about them. Um, but they, they are referenced within the game, but not actually in the game. So I think that is about it. That's a good place to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it helped. I will be seeing you in my next tutorial video. Shh, probably. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Will I? We'll have to find out. <laughs>